Hi, I am Elena. I am a data scientist. Hi, I'm Natalia. I'm an electronics engineer and technologist. We are two women who are making robot house helper and assistant. Today, we're going to talk about how we train a model YOLO V8 on a custom data set. In previous video, we showed you how to make a data set with a RoboFlow platform. And I prepared a test uh, data set. Uh, it consists from two categories. And today I'm show, I show you how to uh, retrain YOLO V8 on this data set. So let's get started. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like and push this bell to get notifications. First thing you should do, it's a import the uh, necessary frameworks and then we install the model, install analytics and uh, yellow V8 model. So you can see it here. Then we should go to RoboFlow and uh, go to prepare it data set. Here uh, you can see export data set. Hit it. Here you can choose model you will use and uh, data set uh, will uh, convert it to the necessary format. So here I can choose download zip to a computer or if you uh, use a local IDE or show download code. So uh, I need, uh, I work uh, in Collab notebook, so I need download code. Let's hit continue. Uh, here you have your own code for download your data set. I downloaded before, so I need only this row. Here is your API key. Uh, don't show it for anyone. So after that, you can push down. Let's return to Google Collaboratory. So you can see this code here. Here will be uh, your API key. When you copy that code and uh, pass it here to your Collab Notebook, you can see your API code here. So I've already downloaded my data set, as you can see. It downloaded completely. And next, uh, very interesting moment, the most interesting moment for me, <laughs> we choose uh, model, model mode. Here we choose train model, to train model. And uh, here you can see hyperparameters. Uh, you can choose a box. Uh, you can choose image size. And uh, you can choose uh, uh, plots results or not. So if you look, look at this site, you can see how your model was trained. There are a lot of metrics here, you can see. Metrics isn't very excellent uh, because our data set isn't very large, but they are not so bad. I think model can work with these parameters. If you're interested, you can uh, see yellow V8 metrics here on the official website. I will leave the link uh, below our video. Now let's see. Uh, here you can see where the result was saved. Uh, we need to use this link here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now we see, we can see uh, what uh, we save. By the way, we save results in CSV format and this format. And uh, this is the matrix. Mm, and the confusion matrix, you can see confusion matrix here too. Okay, so now let's check this result. Um, I use uh, validation data, data for uh, checking result. I uh, didn't use uh, test data because um, I would like to prepare and um, test data separately. Maybe Natalia can, can make... <laughs> photos from your your fridge and uh, give it to me and uh, I I would like to test my model on a real data. So okay, let's let's choose another batch. 
I load the photos for a model prediction. The model predict our photo. Tomatoes beat tomato. <laughs> so it recognized all of this correctly. Not bad. Mm. But I think uh, we need to make a large da data set, uh, approximately 500 uh, pictures in every class. Mm. And I think, Natalia, it would be uh, very good if you can take photos when you buy something for your needs, some vegetables, and uh, we will create a large uh, data set with different uh, vegetables and train our model on it. Yes, um, I was thinking about it too. Actually, I've got pretty interesting beads. Uh, they are unusual shape. Just wait a minute. <laughs> I will bring it over just one minute. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh my God. <laughs> What's <beat>. this? <laughs> <laughs> it's very strange beads. Yes, but you see how they can be like really different. And I don't know, our model can recognize it as a, maybe it's potato, maybe it's carrot. There's another I, one. I, I think no. I think no. No. Uh, it's, uh, it's too different. What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking of putting my um, raspberry Pi in the kitchen stationery and just taking pictures of everything that I get. So I have my raspberry Pi here with... Um, Okay. The camera. And I mm -hmm. have um, a mm -hmm. stand I can put it on. And actually, I can do it all the time. Just keep it in the kitchen and take pictures every time I get something. Okay. It will be good. Uh, so I will uh, label this picture. I hope I can handle automatic labeling <laughs> and it uh, won't be difficult for me. Uh, and uh, we can gather a big data set for a good learning and for a good result. So that's all for today. I hope this video will be useful for you. Please ask questions in the comments and subscribe to our channel if you like it. See you mm -hmm. next time. Okay. Yes, I, um, I leave uh, the link to my collab notebook below the video in the info box so you can you can use it if you wish bye bye see you next time see you